Hello and welcome to another episode of me, Ben Pearson, former Channel 5 Police Interceptor. And today's video is going to be about burglars. So please stick with us as we discuss shitbags, criminals and burglars. Don't go anywhere, it's going to be a good one. So I'm making this video because people don't really understand burglars, they don't understand what they're like and they've got a vision in the head of someone just wearing all black, carrying a swag bag and then selling all the stuff down at the local shop. That's probably as accurate as you can get really. So we're going to talk about burglars and who they are and what they do. So as you know, burglars do commit burglaries. That is not rocket science, we all know that. But there are separate sorts of burglars and we're going to go into each one and let you know why and how they do it. So some burglaries are just about opportunities thieves. These are people that will walk around the area just with the mates, chatting and then trying door handles, seeing if your house has got an open back window and if they can do, they will lean in and grab something like a purse, a laptop or anything of that nature. They are scroty people, they are normally just doing it for a bit of drugs so they can sell it down at the local pub and get £10 for a bit of heroin or a bit of cocaine. They are the opportunities, they will walk up your driveway and just check your door and make sure it's open. They will walk straight in, pick something up and run out. They are not what you call scary people, they are just opportunities which are mainly bagheads because they've got nothing else to do, no education and then they're obviously roaming the streets because they're just idiots really. Uh, they're the kind of people that you see on your CCTV at four in the morning circling your car, opening your car door as well, just check to make sure you've got no ray bonds in there because they can't be asked, go and get a job uh, and making an effort like the rest of the good society that we live in. All opportunities, just take that risk. That's all they do. They just take a risk. They don't know if anyone's in the house. They don't know if they're caught on CCTV, but they're really not that bothered. As long as they can get a bit of drugs at the end of it or sell the items within a couple of hours, that's all they care about. They don't care if it's your wedding ring, it's inherited from your great-great-grandmother or any sentimental value. They'll just get in, get out and run away as quickly as they can do. You'll probably know one of these when you see him because they are young, look scraggy and have got no teeth. So they will just stand out like a sore thumb in your area. Nine times out of ten, they'll be dressed in dark tracksuits, probably just some Adidas or Nike Air Max trainers and covering the face. You have also got the other sorts of burglaries which are from the organised crime group. These are the series burglars which will force entry on your house in order to steal your car keys, money that they know you've got or watches. They will only know this because you've been advertising these on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter and you've told all your mates down at local you are now sporting a Rolex Pepsi which has cost £17,000 and you've just bought a brand new Golf GTI. Because I don't need anybody's money, it's nice. I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. <laughs> that's, not, that's not a Rolex, it's a, it's a Casio 999. These people know exactly what they're doing and they know how to get in your house. If it's a standard UPVC door, you can lock snap that door and get in within two to five seconds. Once they're in your house, that's it. Their car keys will be gone or they will be threatening you for your valuables. Do not feel scared. Just give them what they ask for. At the end of the day, they are only valuables and they can be replaced. The only thing that can't be replaced is your life. What you need to do as well is technically you probably won't be insured if you leave your car keys near the open door or leave them near the letterbox. Please take your car keys upstairs and place them on the top stair away from the front door so no one can see them. If said burglar does come into your house and walks up the stairs, he will see the car keys and make off. Do not leave them in view of the front door. What you will also not know if your door is unlocked and a burglar walks in and steals your car, you're probably not going to be insured either by your house insurance or your car insurance because you need to make reasonable steps to make sure that your house door keys and your car keys are safe and locked away. That means locking your front door when you get in. Do not leave back doors or front doors open when you cannot see them such as having a barbecue and can't see your side door or your front door and be outside the back eating the best pork sausages in the world where someone is taking your 68 inch plasma tv and running down the road laughing 
if you have a luxury or rare car such as a Golf R, um, a Lamborghini, a Range Rover, SVR, anything like that, you could be followed home. So always make sure when you are on your way home, you are not being followed. If you're not happy, what people can do is they can check under the vehicles because a lot of times trackers are put on said vehicles um, so they are stolen to order. Some criminals do use blowtorches and blowtorch the lock off your door and open your door without knowing. So what you need to do is get sash jammers on your door and also put an alarm in. So if your door is opened, you are made aware while snoozing away and thinking of someone you're not meant to be thinking about when you are dreaming. I do that a lot. Again, you can put signs up in your door saying you do not want call callers at your door. Always be able to look outside the front of your door before opening it because you never know who stood there. So have a spy hole or look out the front window of your house. Do not ever open your front door without knowing who is stood there and what they want. That is one of the main things that happens. People are then pushed to the floor, car keys or valuables are stolen and the criminals make off. Again, make sure your granny is aware that do not let anyone into the house, especially if they need to check the pipes, check the water, check the gas. Do not do it. If granny's on her own, make sure there is someone out of the house at a reasonable time to let the person in who is the official gas reader or water person. If you don't believe they are, don't let anyone in. Ask for ID and phone the company up directly to make sure they're down on a correct call and there's a job number for that call. Do not let anyone in and tell granny not to open the door and let anybody else in as well. That's what happens and life savings are taken by these shitbags who do not care the impact they have on people's lives. If you're not feeling safe in your house, you can also put sash jammers on your windows, window locks, and then chub locks, turning chub locks on the inside of your doors. So if someone does break into the back of the house, they can't get through to the bottom of the stairs or into the front room. It is another way to stop the burglars getting through and they need to create as much noise as possible to break into separate rooms. Make it as hard as you can do for them to get into the house or look what's inside the house. There are companies now that put film on windows so you can put film that when you throw a brick at the window it doesn't go through or a brick at the glass door it won't go through it will just crumple but you will not get entry into the house and you can also put a reflective one on as well so the criminals outside the house cannot see through the front door or the back door or the windows it is fantastic it doesn't create any difference when you're inside the house you can still look out and it's just like a normal day but from the outside the shitbag looking in it will just see a mirrored effect they can't see who's in or what's going on you could be in there sat watching coronation street and ringing 999 and they wouldn't have a clue make sure your documents in your house are where they need to be make sure they've got your polish number and contact details for if your door is forced your windows are broken or you want to make a claim a lot of people when they are burgled don't know who to ring what you need to do is make sure your house is safe so you will have an emergency contact number on there they will come out board your windows or doors up and get them fixed the next day Always take your car keys off your house door keys. So if your car is stolen, you do not need to replace your house door keys. That is another cost you do not need. Nine times out of ten, you will leave something in your car with your name and address on. So if they do seal your car in a car park, first thing they will do is go to your address and burgle your house as well. Always make sure your car keys are separate from your house door keys. Top tip there, people. Always let neighbours know where you're going if you're going to go on a holiday and have contact numbers available for those neighbours for yourself and other members of the family such as a key holder. Let them know that you're going to be back on a certain day at a certain time. So if they look out the day before and see your door is wide open, they know something is happening and will call the police. Also make sure you've got an alarm and timers on your lights. It will detract the burglars even more and let them go on someone else's house. And I know it's not fair, but you'd rather someone else get burgled than yourself. Everything you do on your house, always think deterrent, deterrent, deterrent. From putting certain plants in the back of your garden that can cause scratches or itching to the burglars, making sure fences are high, making sure doors and gates are locked, alarms are on and outside lights are on at all times. Anything you do to deter the burglar. <laughs> End of the day, if someone does break in, you are allowed to use reasonable force to subdue them or to catch them or to restrain them or to beat them. I didn't say that. Please just think about your own safety. 
Always, if you are not happy, ring 999. Let them know that somebody's outside your house trying to force entry. Do not ever ring 101, ring 999. It is down to the call taker to decide what sort of event is taking place and what response to give you. If you do hold firearms in your house and have a firearm certificate, do not go around telling people in the local pub or any people that you do not know or trust, because that is another thing where people can want to break into your house to take those firearms. Do not tell anyone, because then you could be in the shit creek and then if your house is burgled and your firearms taken, you could be kicked off the firearms register and have a lot of explaining to do. Always park your car safely in an area where it is always lit and you have a 90 stop lock over the steering wheel, which is like this. If you've got a stop lock on and they try and steal your car and they don't have the key, again, they're going to struggle. They will move on to the next car. Again, deterrent, deterrent, deterrent. And I'm not saying detergent. <laughs> If you like this video, click the bell icon, click subscribe and check out my website, which is on the screen now, along with our merchandise. Um, stick with us. Love you loads. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, Captain.